Start by selecting the airplane model you like to build and the best scale for your collection, which is subject to your preferences and available display space. For this tutorial, I have selected the North American F86A Sabre in 172 scale. It is best to devote a workbench to your hobby, an area where you can exclusively keep all your building tools, rulers, tape, paint, spray cans, brushes, and other equipment neat and organized. A magnifying glass is a great addition to your workbench. It will allow you to paint small parts and add meticulous detail to your model. This is one of the most exciting steps of the whole construction process. Carefully open the box and analyze the plastic parts attached to the spruces. Notice that every part is identified by a number. Look at the set of decals and decide on the specific markings and color schemes for your model. Read the instructions and study the sequence of steps. They are not written on a stone. Sometimes you may need to modify them a little. It is very important to clean the plastic parts in a mix of water and mild soap to remove any residue of oil from the mold used to make the parts. This process will help the paint to adhere better to the surface of the plastic. Remove as much water from the plastic parts and let them dry on top of a paper towel. It is a good idea to look for photographic references of the model you are planning to build to help you improve the details and even help you customize the model to a specific squadron, air force or model variant. Search books and aviation magazines postcards, and if possible, visit a local aviation museum. There is one more thing you must do before starting to build your model. Read the color chart listed on the instructions or the model box and gather all the paint required. Before you start painting, lay down paper, a drop cloth, or a piece of plastic to help protect your furniture. Review and follow the instructions to paint the small parts while they are still attached to the sprue. Use a number zero brush and a small amounts of paint. We will start painting the landing gear components using silver enamel paint.
use a magnifying glass to see better when painting some of the small parts. The magnifying glass will allow you to add additional detail to your model. Paint using one color at a time and thoroughly clean the brush using brush thinner before using a different color. Be sure to use the thinner in a well-ventilated area. Thinner is flammable and volatile. Now we continue painting the small parts using a different color. Having the small parts still attached to the sprue makes it easy to handle them. Make sure you do not touch the freshly painted parts to avoid fingerprints. We proceed to paint the internal cockpit components. Using the same color, we paint the wheels. We have painted the ejection seat, the pilot, the wheels, and the inside of the airplane nose. We have also painted the inside part of the landing gear wheel pans and the air brakes. We are now ready to start assembling the model. Use a hobby knife or a pair of wire cutters to free the airplane parts. To avoid damaging the parts, do not break them apart from the sprue. Use a hobby knife or fine sandpaper to remove any leftover plastic from the parts. Be careful when handling the hobby knife. Before gluing parts together, make sure you remove the paint from the areas you will apply the glue. Use a hobby knife or sandpaper to remove the paint. Plastic will bond together better without any paint residue interfering. Thank you.